Hello and welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna have a look at this game called Egyptia. So um, it's a roll and write game, um, but you do need these um, scoring cards that's gonna show uh, how all the elements are gonna score each game. So um, you have the cards marked A, B, C, D, and E for different scoring conditions. And there's three of each, so you're gonna select one for each category. Um, so Usually A is all uh, pyramids, B is queries, and so on. Um, so you're gonna, it's gonna show you how each building scores for that game. And that's basically gonna determine your strategy for the game, so that's kinda important to have a look at those and figure out what you wanna do. Um, of course, you're trying to collect as many points as possible. Um, how the game works is you will roll all these uh, different shaped dice, put them on this dice sheet that's going to show what uh, resources you get that round and what buildings you can build and then you're going to pick one building and build it onto the map right here and uh, you collect resources uh, that you need to spend to build that building also um, there's a bunch of other stuff on the map too that you can use or that can happen and then at the end you're just going to score all that good stuff and see how well you did uh, we're going to go through the rules as we play, so without further ado, let's get right into the game. So first thing we do is roll the dice. Okay, so you're going to put them on the map. So for example, this one, the 12-sided die, goes in this row. Um, it's shown at 10, so it's going to go on this square. Then these six will go here, one to two. 8-sided goes here, 1 to 3, this one is shown 1, so it's going here, 20 is going here, and 10 is going here. So just put each die in its row, uh, depending on the value you rolled, find that particular square. Okay, so now we'll get the resources, so we can pick one column. Of any of any dice we roll so we cannot pick this one but we can pick any other um, these are the wild cards so those are good to have and if you don't use them at the end you get some extra points so I think this should be the one I choose um, if you choose one that's that has three or more then you also have to um, trigger one of the plagues which are bad so I'm not going to do that right away. I'm going to pick the the wild cards. So I get two of them because I have two dice. So I'll just add them to my resources here. So I already started with four. Now I have six. After you do the resources, so depending on the column you chose, um, these two dice, you can build those buildings that are in the same row as the, any of the dice you chose. So since I chose these two dice, I can build, build an obel obelisk or any. Um, so let's say, since I need to get some more resources going, I'm gonna build a field. So field is right here. Uh, it costs one um, black and two blue. So I think black is stone and blue is water okay so i'm going to spend that for the field and since i'm choosing this uh last row i also have to pay one wild resource because that's the cost for choosing the last row okay so i now paid for a field and now i can build it and i'm going to build it right here So that's the field, and once we build a field, we'll get plus one for our wheat production. And that's the first turn, so we can proceed to turn number two. Okay, and right, let's have a look. So if I get the uh, field, well, that's some big shadows so if i if i uh choose the um wheat i will get four now because i have plus one 
but that would also be a plague so I don't know if I want to do that I could get two stone I think that's a better option let's let's do that so two stone and now I can build a pyramid or a field <clears throat> field I think I want to do the field okay let's do it so field costs one stone and two water I don't have water I can go to the market and trade two for one or I can use a wild card as as a blue since I do have four other elements I can trade these four for um, two blue and that's enough for my field um, to build it on this yellow uh, space you have to pay an extra of these wild cards these are the uh, sacred sites so you have to pay extra for those there we go so I got two fields now I think that's enough for the fields um, every time I roll a field I'll get a bunch of wheat so I think that's enough for now so let's keep going okay I got two let's have a look Okay, so if I choose the wheat, I'll get three. I can get one stone, or I can get four water too. Now, I don't want to go with wheat, because then I can only build an obelisk, which I don't want right now. Yeah, let's go with water. So I'll get four water. Four. And I think I need to build either a quarry or a mine. Yeah, let's build a quarry. So that's going to be... Let's see. Got to build them here. So quarry costs one blue and two wheat. I don't have. So I'll spend two blue for one wheat and one wild card for the second wheat. And I'll build a quarry right here that's gonna give us an extra stone good okay let's keep going okay <clears throat> uh, I want to build another quarry um, I don't have any wheat so if I choose this D6, I'll get three wheat, and I already have one blue, and I can build a quarry. So I think that's good. Let's go with that. Um, so wheat. I got one die, and plus two. And I can build a quarry. So it costs one blue and two wheat. Now I'll build it right here. Oh, that's going to be another wild card for the sacred site. <clears throat> Okay, um, a query gives me plus one on the stone. Now I just need some mines which give me the blue. Then I should be good to go. Let's see here. Okay, um, so I can do... Mine is right here, so that would be wheat. I'll get four wheat and... I need two stone for the mine though. Yeah, that's the only thing I can do for the mine. So let's do it. Um, wheat, so I get two plus two is four. Mine, I need one wheat and two stone. Two stone, I can do four wheat instead. And mine, where do I put the mine? So based on my scoring conditions, mine needs to be adjacent to two pyramids. So let me put it here. No. Here. Plus one on blue. Okay, next turn. Okay, um, 
If I want to do another mine, I would have to get the wild cards. I don't have any other resources though, so... I would have to spend three. I don't know. Let's just go for the wild cards then. Two wild cards. And to build a mine, I would need three resources, so I gotta spend three. And I want to build it here. I think. Yeah, let's build it here. <clears throat> okay, I think I'm good on the building that produce extra resources for now. So I should focus on the points. Now for the points... Um, pyramids score the most. They're usually five or four points, depending. Um, here I have pyramids next to the oasis, which is the middle field. They will score five points, and the ones not next to the oasis will be four. So I want to build two pyramids right here. Now all the um, um, queries, they will score three points but only if they're next to two other resource buildings so I gotta put something else here and something else here actually this one's good so something else around this one um, fields need uh, need to be next to the oasis but there can't be any pyramids around them and um, mines need to be adjacent to two pyramids so if I put two pyramids here this one's good and I'm gonna put another pyramid here it's gonna be only four points not five but I'll get three points for uh, for that one, so that should be good. I don't know what I'm going to do with the rest. I mean, um, either more pyramids. Around here, I'm probably going to build obelisks, because there are four points, but they can't be next to a pyramid, so... Um, what am I doing? Okay. There we go. All right. So... <clears throat> I can get the uh, blue without any plagues and that will give me four. Or I can get five wheat. Uh, for the pyramids I only need one blue but I need two wheat each. So let's go for the wheat. I'm gonna get um, five wheat. Since I um, use the column with three or more dice, I have to trigger a plague. So all these plagues are right here. Now I have to do one. Yeah, let's just do um, this one here. So they're all explained here on the bottom of the sh this sheet, which you cannot see right here. They're also explained in the rule book. So I'm going to go for this cow because that's just minus one point. So that's... That's pretty lenient comparing to um, other ones, at least at this moment. So that's just going to be one point at the end. And let's see what I'm going to build. I can do... Um, I can do any, but that's going to cost an extra wild. Or I can do an obelisk, which I was planning to do anyway, so... Let's do that. So I'm going to build an obelisk here. It's one black. Oh well, one black, two blue, that's gonna cost me everything I have. Yeah, maybe not, let's see what else. So I'm gonna pick this die, build any, so I'm gonna have to use one of the wild elements. Boy are they wild. And uh, so I'm gonna build uh, another query here so I, I can score these because uh, they have to be next to a two two resource building so that's going to be one blue and two wheat i have two wheat and um, for the blue i'm going to spend two wheat on the market and that's a plus one stone okay All right, next turn. Right, um, yeah, let's just go for wheat. I don't have any resources at all. Okay, if 
five wheat I have to trigger a plague let's do okay well let's do the uh, locust locust so they're gonna eat two of our wheat I'm left with four wheat and with that I can build I could build a quarry but I didn't roll that and that's pretty much it okay so I can't build anything uh, what we can do now is build a burial mound so just dump it anywhere you like it doesn't score anything um, but it gives you either two resource or one wild card so let's just get one wild because that can be anything okay next turn Okay, so we could finally get some stone. Yeah, let's do that. So let's get some stone. And I'm getting six, three plus three. Finally. Uh, for the plague, I'm gonna choose the scarab, which just gets rid of one of these wild cards. Okay, what can I do? With the stone, I can build a pyramid. Or a mine pyramid is two stone two wheat I have both of those and one blue so I think that should be our play uh, pyramid so two stone two wheat and one blue so for the blue I'm gonna spend two stone okay, what's wrong with this sharpie okay and the pyramid is gonna go right here Cool. Next turn. All right, I got a one. Why am I talking? I'm gonna cut this out anyways. Okay, here we go. Um, I need the blue. I didn't roll any. Let's do the wild, so two wild cards. And I can build a mine or an obelisk. Let's build, let's build an obelisk, I guess. Obelisk is gonna be um, one black, one black, one wheat, two blue. So okay, so for two blue, I am going to use one stone, one wheat, and one wild card. And that should be sufficient for an obelisk right here. Okay, next turn, here we go, okay, 10, 16, okay, let's have a look, so I could get wheat, I could get stone, or wild cards, so with a stone I could build pyramids, I would get five stone, and I need two stone, that leaves three. I don't have enough. Gosh, just can't seem to get going here. Okay, what else? Um, field, I don't want that. Query or a mine. Let's do that, I guess. So I'm gonna get four wheat. Okay. Um, so mine, let's try building a mine here, I need two stone, oh gosh, okay. let's build a quarry then, so for quarry I need two wheat and a, a blue one, so that's going to be four wheat, 
all together. And I'll, I'm going to build a query here. Yeah, I'm not happy how this game is going. All right, next turn. Okay, so next turn. Um, I could finally get some blue stuff, but then I have to build a field. It's just, can't get anything I need. So, let's get some stone. Wait, why just build? I did build a query, right? So I get plus four. Okay, so if I get the uh, stone, I'll get five stone. Five. Yeah, that's still not enough, though. Let's just get the uh, blue. So it's going to be four. And I'm, I think I'm going to have to build a burial mound. Because I just can't seem to get going with the resources. So I'm going to get um, two of the wild cards. That's going to be my turn. Next. Okay, I got three. All right, so I could get stone. Um, I think that's the best because um, I have no resources. So let's get a stone. I got three dice on it and plus four. That's seven. I gotta do a plague. Plague is going to be, well, I could just do this dude. So that just means I can't build on the sacred sites and I can't build next to an oasis. I think I can work with that. Um, so let's build another obelisk. Um, so one stone, two blue ones and one wheat which is going to be let's just spend a wild card right next okay next turn is here um i have two blue i have six stone and I have two wild cards. I don't have any wheat, so maybe get wheat. Okay, so I do need to build pyramids here and probably here. I can't build any around these, so that's fine. And then I can just build more pyramids or, yeah, I have to focus on pyramids though. So let's go for stone. Um, that's going to give me six stone. And I can build a pyramid, so it's going to be two stone, one blue, and two wheat. Let's spend these wild cards. Build a pyramid right here. Next turn. Okay, so we could get the wheat now because I only rolled two. Um, I gotta build a mine or another obelisk. I guess it could go here. It is pretty expensive though, but no, I need two blue. Dang it. Okay, let's go for the uh, blue. So that's gonna give me four. And I'm building another pyramid, of course, so it's going to be two stone, one blue, and two wheat. So let's go two stone, three stone, and one blue, okay? 
Oh, no. I gotta get some wild cards or I won't be able to build there. Next turn. Okay. Um, I could get a bunch of stone now. Um, or I can go for wheat, but I have to build a quarry. Okay, let's go for a bunch of stone. So that's gonna be eight stone. Still good. Eight stone. It is a plague though, so let, let me see what plague I want. I actually didn't cross this one off. Okay, so I have three. Yeah, let's just go for this sandstorm. So that's gonna be minus two stone. I have plenty, so shouldn't matter. Okay, um, I wanted to build a pyramid there, but I don't have any wild cards, so I can't. I guess I could build one here. Let's do it. So two stone, one blue, two wheat. One, two. Almost done, I have two turns left. Okay, so I didn't roll any wild cards again. Um, if I go for the blue, I'm gonna get a bunch and I can build a pyramid. So let's do that. Four plus two is six. For the pyramid, I need two stone, one blue, and two wheat. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four. And I'll build that one here. Cool. Last turn. I need to roll some wild cards or I won't be able to build anything. Let's see what happens. Okay, I did, did roll one, so I'm just gonna have to take it, but then I have to build a mine. And the mine is it has to be next to two pyramids, which it is, so that worked out great. Okay, so one wild card, spend it to build on the sacred site. And we said I have to build a mine, which is two stone and one wheat for a mine. And that is all, that's the whole game. Uh, the only thing we didn't use is these ships next to the Nile, so you can cross off a ship to get three wheat or three water or three stone, whichever one you want, but they're all worth two points at the end if you don't use them, so I didn't, which is great. All right, let's score it up. So first thing is, is card A, so that's um, Pyramid next to Oasis is five points. If it's not, then four points, so I only have one. And then one, two, three, four that are not adjacent. So it's going to be 16, 21. Good. Um, card B, query, but needs to be adjacent to two other production buildings. Scores three points. This one is adjacent to this one also. This one also, this one also. So I got four. Four times three is 12. Then we have mines. They have to be adjacent to two pyramids. Uh, this one is, this one is, and this one is. So three times three is nine. Um, obelisk, it's four points if it's not adjacent to pyramids. So eight points here. And lastly, we have fields. They have to be adjacent to oasis, but not adjacent to any pyramids. I have two, that's six points. If we had any of these wild 
symbols left over we could get a point for each two we don't have any two points for each ship we didn't use so that's six and if we crossed out a cow we lose a point okay so total 33 42 50 62 61 points great uh, do i have the rules i don't have the rules for the game I think that's pretty good. Uh, always trying to get over 60 for a win, so that's pretty good, even though it started very badly. <laughs> okay, so there we go. That's the game, Egyptia. Pretty fun, I want to say. Um, I really like this managing resources and trying to build a building. It's very hard once you roll. You, need, you know what resources you need, but then there's a different building associated with it. So it's um, sometimes it's a very hard decision. Um, good strategy is required. Mm, so yeah, strategic game, tactical too. Overall, quite enjoyable, quite fun, very nice. Um, uh, yeah, I heard about this game like over a year ago and I didn't try it because I didn't like the cards. <laughs> but yeah, I got around to trying it and it's very good. So very good game. Definitely try this one out. I'll leave the links for you as always and thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.